सो आर यू यूजिंग गूगल सर्विसेज स्टॉप यूजिंग इट आई एम नॉट जोकिंग एक्चुअली वी आर हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ पॉइंट दैट्स वाई आई एम जस्ट सेइंग ऑल दिस थिंग सो वेलकम वंस अगेन टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे विल बी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डार्क रूट वाइल यूजिंग गूगल ऑन योर फोन सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग एंड आई एम हैविंग सम मोर अल्टरनेटिव ऑफ गूगल दैट यू कैन यूज इन योर फोन एंड आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू एंड यू कैन से आई एम गोइंग टू रिव्यू द डार्क साइड ऑफ गूगल लाइक हाउ दे आर कंज्यूमिंग योर डाटा how you are not protected in this particular cyber world and um, just in normal i'm going to expose the google in this video so stay with me in this video and you are going to learn a lot of things i'm damn sure if you are technical or if you are non technical person so first of all tell me how this picture is look like we just it, it just took a lot of time to create this one anyway let's move uh, to the content that we are going to cover it today so the first we'll be having a introduction about why we should stop using google and what are the alternatives that we have in another part we'll be looking into the alternatives of google product like youtube gmail there's a lot of thing that we are using in our daily life so what are the alternatives of google that we have and at last we'll just come up with the conclusion and uh, if uh, sundar pichai will be sitting in front of you then for sure i can guarantee he will say stop it bhaiya please stop So anyway, first the introduction note. Why this is so? So have you ever wondered what happened in the server when you send an email or photo from your phone to the Google server? Maybe you believe that they send it to the magical place that it called cloud, and perhaps you have never considered this question. So let me tell you, the cloud is just another person's server. The information about your prof. profession hobbies interest and extracted from your data and from there the information is used to sell your targeted advertisement yes don't be surprised when you are talking to someone else about the product or services and then some ads about the product or services show up on your the website that you are visiting and uh, given that almost 50% you can see on your graph of the website on the internet is using google ad network so according to research we have found that or uh, you can go through with a lot of sundar pichai talks so he was in uh, supreme court of uh, usa i believe so there uh, the justice has asked a lot of question from sundar pichai they ask suppose if the phone is in front of me so is google able to hear me what i'm talking about then they said yes why so because we are using uh, okay google like we say okay google please play the song chal chhiya 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 so usually google what does it do it will do it will just play out the song okay of sarukh khan which some clipping things so usually always the google is listening us like if you are using okay google service then always google is listening us whenever you shout out okay google then the command is get activated and the rest time he is listening us so from there where we are falling out he is listening whatever we are talking if you just uh, do a practical example just keep a phone with you and talk about barbie doll just talk about uh, dell laptop just use uh, dell laptop keyword uh, 30 to 40 times in a day and just activate your okay google on your phone and uh, i am damn sure within 3 to 4 days you will start getting ads of dell laptop on your phone and the website that you are going to visit so this is how it work and even there is a very famous quote nothing is free if you are getting anything for free then you are the product yes that that is true and also if uh, like as i told you 50% of the website on internet is using uh, uh, google ad network and uh, that is not creepy they also collect your sell your data to the other companies even when you opt out of tracking so how will the sip i mean the customer opt of tracking when the business model acquire them to be constantly pleased to harvest our data so apple has also offered a method to reduce tracking and that has led to the decrease in the tech stock price in the past so you can completely remove google services by deleting the apps of your ios devices and however most android operating system have google services pre installed and you can solve the issue by flashing a custom room if you are not familiar what is custom room then you can google out will got a lot of information and if you have a carrier device you'll have to unlock the device before you can unlock the bootloader and from there you can flash your operating system 
so there are a few operating system that i would recommend you for the android which is the uh, first one is Galax os second is graphene os and third one is Lenig os Lenig os whatever you call so this is open source operating system and uh, and uh, like after installing still default to google dns will be there so this operating system will not have any google services installed in it so follow the rest of the guide and uh, replace these services so that you will not going to be tracked from the google so basically in this video we'll be going to cover the five ways you can switch from google services to alternative services on your smartphone so let's get right into it first one so in most cases you are using uh, like right now everyone is professional even a person those who are just uh, uh, doing some sort of sweeping work actually a few days ago i just get into the party because the party was of a doctor and uh, doctor just came onto the stage like the person those who are taking care of this stage they just called the name of that particular doctor the name was uh, Ved Prakash something like so he just came to the uh, stage and after talking a lot of things he just told like my dai the sister that uh, the sister uh, that is working at my home is having a lot of uh, followers on their tweet and uh, recently she just quoted a tweet over the twitter platform and he got approx 700 to 800 likes so i thought like right now i'm having two to 300 followers on twitter and she is having seven to 800 and that's amazing so anyway like right now the conclusion of this talk is all about uh, right now we all are uh, having the online presence and we are using a lot of email services uh, most probably we are using the google gmail so the first services that they can replace google is uh, proton so perhaps you have used gmail as a personal email address to receive and send emails over the internet and you might think that it is impossible to switch to another services due to the number of existing services that use your email address to authenticate in their services so basically email technology is not secure the decryption of the messages must occur during the hand effort of two different servers anyone can perform a man in the middle hack to obtain that messages and that is why most medical companies won't send you your record over email so however considering switching to proton mail if you want to continue using email and if you want complete control over the security of your email services so I recommend instead of using Gmail, you can use ProtonMail. Here is a small thing. How you can uh, migrate from Google to ProtonMail. This is a small uh, blog that you can follow. This is the particularly link that you can proceed with. So there's a lot of thing. If you want to know about a particular topic, like how to transfer existing email and contact, how to set up your email forward, how to inform your contact how to update online account how to get most of the proton mail. so this is what you can follow and you can get right up the creepiest gmail service and by the way i am also using uh, proton mail my id is mkumarcyber i did protonmail.com so actually in this video i am not having any sponsor i am just going through with the genuine things now the next thing is having vr is app store i am damn sure if you are your, if you are an android user then you have used app store because whenever we have to download any application we use google play and on ios there is no convent way like if you are going to use ios then basically there is no convent way to sideload apps apple keeps tight control on the installation of the apps and android basically allows you to sideloaded apps on your device so you can use basically aurora store which gives you access to the google play store applications without having a google account and you can't get paid apps so a lot of google play store apps have google and facebook trackers built into them and that's why i recommend that you use the free and open source android application this is called appdroid basically appdroid has a repository of free and open source alternative applications so you can download appdroid from uh, google itself Simply type out F-Droid download and uh, there will be some website will be going to load in front of you. So this here you go. This is the website of uh, F-Droid. 
free and open source android app repository let's uh, wait uh, till it's get loaded yeah here we go so if here you will click that then an apk file will be going to download it and this is secure your phone is not going to be hacked and you'll be uh, not going to be tracked from the google as well so i recommend you to use f droid instead of google now the next uh, like this is done this you don't have to use this particular service f droid is a uh, fine one okay and this is a uh, devil service now the next thing that we are having is browser right now like we all know google chrome is basically one of the best browser that we have the, they have the best services they are having the best like they are coming with the regular updates they are having the great interface boot up like loading time is very fast all these things that they, they are having and basically if you are not aware then let me tell you google chrome is probably leaks the most data about you and they know your search history but they come with using the google services search engine they also track information that can be synced between different machines and that means bookmark and password will be stats on the server so basically this is all about uh, chrome and this this is a browser which is called bromite so Bro bromite on the other hand is a fork of the chromium browser but it comes with the additional privacy features such as never contacting to google servers and they also have a built-in ad and tracker blocking so bromite is basically an android application and for ios user uh, just use safari and uh, use an ad blocker dns server such as adguard dns so basically like as we all know there is a open source project called uh, chromium as far you know so this is uh, bromite is basically the integrated version of chromium some developer comes they just changes the source code of chromium and just came up with some new thing which is called bromite so this will not going to play with your privacy this is purely secure and you can use it and you can easily download it from google and yes if you android if you are ios user then use safari that is a pretty cool a uh, uh, browser and uh, and apart from this you can use some additional ad blocker or dns services such as ad guard dns so you can replace the dns in your settings system settings as well now next thing is having is youtube we always use youtube and most probably you are watching this video on youtube as well so the question is is there any alternative platform of youtube then most probably you'll think yes there is there is some sort of platform which is called uh, with uh, vimeo most of you are thinking of like vimeo is the alternative of uh, youtube but yeah they are also just theffing your data so what we can use so like uh, today itself i was uh, when i was um, researching about this particular topic then i just get to know about new pipe what is this new pipe is there is, is this a red youtube which was previously banned or, or something else so basically you can watch youtube videos without watching ads with new pipe not only that but it support peer tube as so new pipe is basically application that you can download from this website and just believe me this is the one of the best app. Uh, application that i am going to recommend you in this video so basically new pipe is a uh, open source project okay you can use it in your phone you, if you want to download a new pipe you can click here get and if you will click here and then a apk file will be going to download it at your device you can also uh, install the f droid application from their store you can also download uh, new pipe so basically a new pipe is a uh, a kind of alternative to youtube you can download new pipe you don't need like there is some sort of things that you can't do on new pipe is you can't sub subscribe someone you can't add your google account over there this is fully featured uh, you can say application which will not going to reveal your privacy so you can watch any video you can search for any topic that you want on uh, new pipe the interface will be same as the youtube you can watch any video and the good thing about new pipe is you don't have to watch the ads whatever video will be there you don't have to watch the ad there will be no ads you can watch over there and each and every video of youtube will be available out there 
and you can download the app from here you can download uh, you can search for the vih group and at that place you will get the videos whatever we are having uh, else if we are going live as well then you can see the live tab as well and this is uh, the best thing that i found today and in my entire life this is very very useful just use it out that's it and even one more thing like if you're using a new pipe then you don't have to open your uh, uh, brow open your application that it will going to play the song if you'll just close the application if you're going to minimize the application then the song will be also going to play in the background if you want to download any video then just click on download and it will be going to save into your devices so that's cool isn't it just comment if you now the next uh, thing is uh, bhaiya aap to kamal kar diye so don't use this city if you if you are youtuber then you you should have to use this and uh, i i i believe none of the officials from youtube family is not watching this video because then they might ban me from so anyway now the next application that we are having is uh, a file sharing platform we must using google drive for storing our photos for storing our files even i am using right now but uh, today i just replaced i just switched to next cloud this is the next thing which is called next cloud so basically it is no surprise that google drive scans all your text document spreads it and presentations and you can side step this by switching over the next cloud to store your files over the internet so how to switch so basically you don't have to host your next cloud services to have a next cloud account you can sign up for the existing external account and basically next cloud is pretty easy to perform the transfer process from google drive to another drive provider the only issue is that option is buried deep with layers of layers of ui <laughs> so on your device you can install next cloud on the f drive platform and this is a uh, a very uh, cool platform this is very cool uh, application that you can use on if for file sharing okay and uh, just avoid the google services as i believe this is not good so anyway that's all about uh, this video and the conclusion part if you have been using google from years and years chances you are having accumulated tons of data stored on the server not only that but you have more services that use google email addresses or even worst you directly sign in to the other services using google so by following this video you can take a step to completely do de googleize yourself and your phone so i hope you found this video helpful if yes comment down your feedback and uh, please use this application like i am not having a sponsorship with me because we are very small youtubers and if you found any uh, videos very much helpful then please uh, drop your feedback into the comment section so thank you for watching this video at the last and thanks a lot once again we are close to 2k let's complete it as soon as possible so thank you once again have a great day jai hind jai bharat